What's up you guys, it's Valley Vaughn, the Perfume Dawn. What's up you guys, it's Valley Vaughn and I'm back at you with another video. I'm very excited. Today we're gonna talk about some of my summer essentials. I have quite a few that I'm looking at right here. These are things that are gonna get me through these hot summer days. We're hitting 80 degrees consistently, so I don't care what the calendar says, it is summer in my book. So we're gonna talk about I was thinking because I have like a huge haul, unfortunately, from a place that maybe you guys don't like, but I don't care. I have a huge haul of summer items, so I think I'm going to do that in a separate video because I really do need to try them on so you guys can get the true essence of them. Like, I don't want to just hold them up so you can see them because a lot of them you actually have to try on. So I think today we're just going to focus on beauty. So I have like makeup, um, hygiene, all types of things that are really, really helping me when I'm going out to still look put together even though I'm literally melting, okay? So if you have tried any of these products or if you wanna recommend me any products because I am looking to like expand my collection, I've been being really good about not buying any beauty products for some time even though some have been sent to me. but I I really really am looking to try new products so if you have any suggestions let me know and let's hop right in because this is this is going to be a long video okay so maybe grab yourself a little snack a little drinky drink and let's talk about it okay first thing even though i'm going to do the haul <laughs> in another video i do have to show you this little fit that i have on today i think it is so cute this is from tim you it's this cute like little halter top almost and then it has these strings where you can tie it to fit your physique um this is well i can't say it's itty bitty you know friendly so i really really love this and i love the pants as well i love this look for the summer easy breezy and it's getting me in the mood for this video okay girl okay so let's start with body care because that's a huge part of summer you're going to be showing more skin your body's going to be out more and we want to feel confident we want it to look as nice as possible right so one of the first things that i really really urge you guys and even though this is meant for the face i use it on my body i use it on my arms i like to use a sunblock this is my first year ever using a sunscreen can you believe it even if you're a woman of color you need to be using sunscreen i'm sure you already know this but they like this one and it's from Kiehl's. So again, this is meant for your face, but the bottle is so huge to where I'm like, I only have this one little tiny face and I do have another sunscreen that I'm using as well. So I'm going to be using this on my neck, on my arms, my hands, a big one when you're driving your hands, don't forget that. And maybe even your legs. I don't wear my legs out that often, but maybe your legs as well. So again, this is from Kiehl's and this is their super fluid daily SPF um, UV defense sunscreen. So this is SPF. 50 really really good it's anti-pollution um, it also has technology in there that prevents early skin aging that's caused by the sun you're supposed to shake it shake it very well before you use it it's fragrance free which i know was <laughs> forbidden on this channel but it's fragrance free um it's not a comogenic comogenic i don't know how to say that word but essentially means that it doesn't clog your pores which is great for me because i'm acne prone even at this big age and I definitely get a lot of breakouts. So I love that. And also paraben free. Again, this is a huge bottle. This is 125 milliliters, 4.2 fluid ounces. So for me, this is a huge bottle. That's how she looks. And it's actually very, very watery. Like it's very liquidy. Girl, it's even leaking out a little bit. So if you don't like that, then you might not like this one. I like a sunscreen that's a little bit more liquidy because I feel like it melts into the skin a little bit easier. It's not non-greasy. I have never met a sunscreen sunscreen that is non-greasy but this is less greasy than some other sunscreens so I like it for that I also cannot say that it's black girl friendly but I wear makeup essentially every day so when I put on my makeup it covers the fact that it does leave your girl a little bit ashy and I think the only one that doesn't do that is the black girl sunscreen which shockingly I don't have but yeah I really really like that one from Kiehl's it's very very lightweight and I don't like feeling sticky and having something thick on me when it's hot out so I like it for that reason and again it hasn't broken me out so I use it on my face and my body I suggest you check it out is that Sephora okay more body care so when you're showing your body when you're going to the pool parties who wants to have some friends showing and if by friends I mean pesky hairs you don't want to have pesky hair showing and unless you want to allocate a part of your budget which girl I was doing my budget today and I was like I can't believe being a woman costs so much but unless you want to allocate some of your budget to go waxing which none of us do even though you know it's superior then you can go ahead and use nair body cream the nair remover 
try a little patch of your skin to make sure you don't get irritated and even if it didn't irritate you in the past if you've used it your skin may have changed because i know in the past it didn't irritate me sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but right now we're on good terms so i just love to use this on my legs when i'm in the shower you can use this in the shower actually put it on before you get in the shower three to five minutes at the most 10 minutes and that's if you have very very coarse skin i don't recommend it go five minutes rinse it off and you are silky smooth you can use this on your downstairs which is great for if again if you're wearing a bikini if you're going to the pool so that's why I really really like it I feel like it just does a better job than shaving and it's a lot easier because you just coat the area almost like a lotion very thick with the nair body cream and then after five minutes you know wipe it off with a towel and you're good to go be a little bit more cautious when you are using it on your downstairs don't try to put it you know only on the outside of course and on your back side even less time don't learn the hard way even less time on the back side so if you put it on the front side first for about five minutes wait for maybe like two minutes to go by and then the back side two to three minutes max please listen to me heed this advice and it's really really good i also don't use it underneath my underarms because it's just so easy to just like shave your underarms it's like one swipe so that's me but yeah again if you are looking for a solution for body hair this is a really good um option they do have they have like such a wide array of body hair removers they have one specifically for a bikini which you might want to use for me they weren't strong enough i don't know what's going on there they weren't strong enough so i just used the body cream one more with body care so i'm loving 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 sugar scrubs it's my favorite favorite type of scrub and i've used every scrub i've used salt scrubs i have used coffee scrubs i actually just bought a coffee scrub but my favorite scrub and i feel like it gives me the most exfoliating power is going to be a sugar scrub and this is just one that i grabbed from my bathroom i have so many sugar scrubs but this is the vanilla scented one this one came out not too long ago from tree hut it smells divine girl it smells divine so you want to use this on your rough patches i haven't used this one yet but i'm definitely going to be using it soon you want to use this on your rough patches the parts of skin that need to be exfoliated so you might even want to use it on your underarms if you suffer from no, <laughs> i shouldn't say suffer but if you experience some darkness probably from a lot of friction in that area any area that gets a lot of friction it's going to be a little bit darker especially in women of color so exfoliating helps that i use it underneath my underarms and i've definitely seen a dramatic difference girl at one point they were the color of this hair so we've come a long way but yeah underarms elbows knees kneecaps feet um anywhere that you experience a little bit dry rough skin it's okay go ahead and use a sugar scrub and again i really like this one i also really like the aromatherapy one from bath and body works their eucalyptus experiment top tier superior so the next body care product that we have is a really really good deodorant i was on the prowl honey for years to find a deodorant that lasts i don't want to have to bring a deodorant with me out in public it is not that serious what am i doing i'm not an athlete i'm just walking around one deodorant at the beginning of the day should work and i found one that did so i'm loving loving a spray deodorant is top tier for me something about spray deodorants lasts longer on me really also love the one from degree but the dove advanced care dry spray invisible in any of the scents it doesn't matter is my favorite literally just spray it on you don't even have to wait that long for it to dry and it lasts all day i never ever feel musty i never feel like oh my god i wish i would have took some deodorant with me and i go to the gym i'm working out hard and i just never really feel like musty stanky and it's because of this beautiful number right here also if you're on the kick of doing a natural deodorant they have zero percent aluminum line and it smells just as good and it's just as effective i don't know why i don't buy that one um but this is the one that i have i have it on subscribe and save from amazon i think maybe you're gonna have it linked in my amazon store if so i'll link it below either way you guys really if you're looking for a go-to deodorant this is the one on to hair care even though it's summer we want to make sure that our hair is still being nourished taken care of and i've been loving this oil from a company called bread they really really specialize in making amazing products for women who have coarse hair who have kinky hair it's for everyone 
but I really, really feel like their product range specializes in those hair types. And I love this one. This is their hair oil. It is their everyday gloss. And it says for curl types, 3A to 4C. So again, it's non-greasy. I can't remember what's in here. I'll probably list it right here. But literally, you just need, some products say that you just need a P amount. This one, you actually do need the smallest amount. Put it on your hair. It's nourishing and just gives you the most beautiful sheen in your hair like i really really love it again in the summer you don't want things that are so greasy and oily but you do want to stay hydrated and this oil from bread is definitely the girl to get the job done again really really like it sold to sephora all their products are great uh, their um, shampoo i ran out of it and also the hair conditioner whenever my hair was like over processed dye too much straighten too much whenever i let that conditioner sit on my hair it just brings it back to life and the same thing can happen from sitting in the sun you can damage your hair so i definitely suggest check out bread hair products this summer you want to make sure you have that beautiful those beautiful locks okay the next section i probably chose too many items but of course we love fragrance here so i have quite a few fragrances that i'm looking at some oils some mists some actual perfumes that i'm using this summer to make sure i smell delicious so again we're not trying to be musty stinking <laughs> okay so let's hop right in the first thing is going to be an oil you guys have heard me talk about this body oil so much i'm actually going to put on some right now this is the brown sugar babe perfume oil love it suggested that you put it on your collarbone your wrist behind your ears and behind your knees it's literally put the smallest amount on and it lasts all day and again it's not greasy like it's like a dry oil so it absorbs very very easily it hydrates but it's also a dry oil it's a very nice formula this is in the scent cherry bomb i love cherry and fruity scents during the summer and i'm about to go somewhere mm, love it it smells so good it smells just like so a lot of their scents just to let you guys know a lot of their scents are inspired this of course cherry bomb is inspired by tom ford lost cherry it smells just like it so girl i'm going to be walking around smelling like a little cherry tonight it smells really good and again it's hydrating we love hydration and check out their uh website because they also have scents that are exclusive to them so they have original scents too they have actual body oils this is a perfume oil so it's a little bit more concentrated um if you want actual hydrating body oil they have that as well and another range of products black owned so definitely check them out against brown sugar babe.net okay after your oil you're going to want to hit your body with a hair and a body mist our hair is going to be swinging around it's going to smell so good when you're going to those day parties so i have two that i really really love one that's a little bit more pricey but she's worth it she is worth it so this is from sol de Giro, and oh my god i can't believe i've actually gone through this much i got this just during the sephora sale this is my first time getting the big version usually i get the small version i was like you know what it's summertime it's going to be my go-to scent and i was right so this is the brazilian crush 62 it smells like salted caramel it smells like pistachio it smells like vanilla girl it smells delicioso you're gonna be smelling like a snack <laughs> oh my god i'm laughing look my friends did in it an impersonation of me and how i talk about these body care items but we understand we love this stuff this stuff smells good this smells so edible there's not a time in history that i've worn this scent and i got stopped and asked what am i wearing ask what i'm wearing or people just say like literally you smell so delicious you smell like heaven baby if you want to bring people to heaven check out the soda zero brazilian crush 62 but she is a little bit pricey i think almost like 40 dollars so <laughs> Or if you're trying to save your money you can go ahead and go to ulta or go to your local i think drugstore they're sold at drugstores this is pacifica and this is the hawaiian ruben and guava perfumed hair and body mist this is 100 vegan I feel like people sleep on pacifica their stuff is really top tier but again this just smells like this just smells like a fruity floral like literally i feel like i should be in hawaii right now speaking of i need to book myself a trip girl let's be real i need to go touch some water touch some grass and touch some water but until then the hawaiian ruby guava scent in the hair and the body mist from pacifica is from pacifica is just top tier also having an actual perfume as well at least they used to uh, hopefully they still do but it smells really really good again a tropical floral kind of fruity kind of floral very playful and great for summer next two scents we have our actual perfumes so one is actually it smells like watermelon it's so fun so summery so i love this one from juicy couture this is we it's actually a 
grown woman watermelon scent. Like first when I read the notes before I purchased this, I was like, okay, watermelon's gonna be very childish, which I'm game for. I could tap it to my inner child, but it's actually very musky and floral. And then the watermelon actually takes the back seat. So if you're okay with that, then you would love this scent. The watermelon is there. She's present, but she's sitting in the back of the class. So that's all I can say about the scent. But yeah, again, look at that bottle. I just had to get her for the bottle. She's rocking a gold chain, just like we do. Love it. Speaking of chains, I just got this permanent necklace, you guys. Can you see it? It is the one that is a little bit peach, okay? This is a permanent necklace. I was at this Women's Empowerment Festival and this one was doing permanent jewelry. And I was like, you know what? The older I get, the less I actually want to put on and take off every morning. Thus me having hair sewn into my head, lashes glued to my lashes, nails <laughs> soldered on to my nails. Like, I don't want to worry about anything popping off. So I think I'm going to continue the kick of having permanent jewelry, a permanent necklace. She was doing permanent bracelets. I'm like, aren't bracelets permanent anyway if they're real? Whatever. But like, literally, now that I think about it, jewelry is permanent anyway, if it's real. Anyway, so it's a cute necklace. It's dainty. It's in a choker style. But all my jewelry now, like I don't even want to take it off unless it's an earring. I can't sleep with earrings, but yeah. I'm just, I'm at that point. Even if it saves me five minutes, I don't even have the energy to do something that takes two seconds, girl. So again, really, really like it. If you see someone doing permanent jewelry near you, check it out, especially the anklet. It's summer, it's gonna be cute. Check it out. All right, and the next one is also a watermelon scent. Girl, can you tell? Can you tell? We in her mood. We in our mood. So I love this one. If you want an even sexier, more elevated version of a watermelon scent that's a little bit more tart because it has rhubarb in there, this is the Dolce & Gabbana 3 Le Pantrice. Really, really love this one. Apart from this scent, what other fragrances are popular from Dolce & Gabbana? Like, I feel like they should come out with another hot fragrance by now. Of course they have light blue, but oh, everyone wears her. The man and the, the female version, which is great. Like if you if you want to smell crisp and clean, but like what other fragrances do they have? They need to go ahead and make a new one. We have items that you're going to be putting on your face. So this includes makeup. This includes another SPF that I've been using on my face. So this SPF that I've been using on my face is actually from Coco Kine. This is a skincare brand sold at Target or Target. This is their daily SPF, if you can see that. Yes, this is their daily SPF. It is uh, SPF 32. That's an oddly specific number, girl. Girl, why 32? But yeah, it protects against everything. It prote protects against UVA, UVB. And if you don't know, sitting in front of your computer screen can cause wrinkles. Capitalism is so evil. So yeah, so you need to be truly wearing a sunscreen all day, every day. So yeah, really, really like their stuff. Again, this is a vegan, cruelty-free line. Check them out. They have some really, really good stuff. It's This one is a little bit heavier than the Kiehl's one that I mentioned earlier, but I definitely feel like, but I, I wear it on my face. I don't know why I choose this one to wear on my face. I actually, I rotate. I'm sure I'm gonna run through both of these by the end of the summer. Yeah, so that's how it looks. Nice small bottle, great to take with you while you're traveling. Yeah, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I've been on this kick to lose some pounds. And what I've been drinking when I go out, I have tried to stay away from mixed drinks and I've just been going for this brand called High Noon. Is it High Noon or High Moon? Oh, I can never remember. But the drink is gluten-free. It's like, it's vegan and only has 100 calories. It has no high fructose corn syrup. It has like two grams of sugar. Like it is a healthy liquor. It is peach. My favorite is the peach flavored one, but it is essentially vodka and soda. And I'm just like, you know what? This is what we gonna do because alcohol can blow you up, girl. Drinking them drinks give you a beer gut. And we're, we're not trying to give that this summer. Not, not for as many hours as we're spending in the gym. Oh no, oh no. So yeah, check out the High Noon, High Moon, whatever it's called at your local grocery store. They have so many different flavors, usually on sale, and it's a good alternative for you. You might wanna carry it with you when you go out. But a lot of places are hip to it and they might have it. All right, on to makeup. For brows, I've been loving NYX. I just love NYX in general. Like, NYX is that girl. I've been wearing NYX since I was a little kid. They're able to evolve, expand. My eyebrows are like, really done today but when i'm just running out like i'm going to the gym running errands i just put this brow glue on and it literally it tints them a little bit and it makes my brows just look like they're laminated and it keeps them in place i have it on today too but obviously i have a little bit extra help love this this is actually this is definitely going to be a repurchase it's the smallest bottle ever but a small amount goes a long way next for blush <sighs> i'm 
so happy that blush is back in because I was looking like a clown on a ledge by myself for many years. Blush is back in. I'm loving this one from Juvia's Place. Oh, I hate that the label is rubbing off because I've been using her so much. But this is the one from Juvia's Place. This is a liquid blush. This is like their answer to the Rare Beauty Blush. But as the Rare Beauty Blush, I was going to say the Rare Beauty Blush gives natural. Okay, whatever. I do have a Rare Beauty Blush. Can't find her right now. That's, I know I already know how I'm going to spend my evening looking for it. But I picked up this one from Juvia's Place because you guys actually suggested it on a video. And I picked up Pink Lady. Uh, I'm really inspired by this Barbie culture. The Barbie movie, she's just taking over this, this summer, this year. And this is so pigmented. Like literally one dot. If you thought the Rare Beauty Blush was pigmented, oh no, honey. This is a whole nother level. Like I put this on before I put on my foundation. I put this on underneath my foundation and you can still see it, right? It's pigmented. I had to like put a lot of foundation on top to dial it down because I looked like Ronald McDonald girl. So be careful, but this is like superior as far as pigment goes with blush. So in my mind, that means it will be amazing if you have very, very deep skin tones. Girl, she's going to shine on your skin. Summer is all about a gloss and I'm obsessed with the Fenty Heat Gloss. It is plumping. All the Fenty glosses that say heat, essentially that just means plumping. It took me a really long time to figure that out. I love a nude plump. I really don't like a color on my lips. So I love this one. This one is in the, this is in Fenty Glow. So love this one again. It is just essentially a nude tone on me. So pretty. Let me actually put it on right now for you. And the last two things I have for you guys actually going to be a medium coverage foundation that I use when I am just running to the gym. This is the, this is the Merit Lightweight Stick Cover Foundation. Ooh, that was a lot to say. And I really, really love this one. I'm just running to the gym. It gives a nice natural 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 coverage i actually need a darker shade now that i have a tan because of summer but literally i just put it underneath my eyes anywhere i need to conceal it melts into the skin and it matches you wonderfully this is in the shade khaki but again i need a darker shade now that i have a tan love that for natural days in the summer beach days vacation it travels well because it's a stick foundation now liquid not messy you can also just use your hand i like to use a brush you can use your hand so again less products to take with you if you are traveling or if you have a beach day or pool day and the last product i want to talk about is from kvd kat von d this foundation the good apple foundation oh my gosh i used it the other day as you can see th this was sent to me it is very very light this is way too light for me but you know we know how to fix things but the base as far as this base being on all day it was hot it was raining I, I fell asleep because I wore this to the movies later that night, like, and it was on. I'll insert pictures, girl. It was on. So if you need a full coverage foundation, if you have events to go to, concerts, nights out, if you have, like, if you're taking pictures, graduation, anything to where your face needs to be done, please go see if they have your shade in the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation. It is summertime approved, just like all these products. So thanks so much for watching with me. Hopefully you found some products that can fit some needs for you this summer. Again, let me know if there's anything that I should go try out and I can give you guys my opinion on. If you tried out any of these products, let me know why they are your favorites as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.